All right, I hope everybody's doing all right and is having a good day. Um, I wanted to get my thoughts and review about the assembly of the Odroid Go Advance. This is a brand new uh, handheld system. Basically, it's an emulation machine. And I learned about it from ETA Prime's um, videos on it. Uh, that's a YouTuber that I watch a lot. And, uh, he highly recommends this this uh, little machine. I decided to go for it because I like the form fi factor of it. Um, it. It fits really good in my hands. It's uh, not bad. When I'm playing stuff like the uh, Game Boy Advance SP and, you know, the Game Boys, you know, the DMG in the pocket and the color, my hands feel a little cramped because you know you got to got to put them uh, close together, and I just prefer this form factor better when playing handheld games. Of course, this is not a handheld game that's playing right now. This is um, actually Sonic the Hedgehog uh, on the Genesis. Um, there are several different uh, machines just to emulate: 2600, the 7800 for the Atari, the Atari Lynx, Game Gear, Genesis, NES. You get the idea. Um, but anyway, let me give you my quick thoughts of the installation. Um, for, uh, one thing a lot of people are talking about is how the screen is very fragile. And you have to be really careful with putting it in. Now, it's, a, it's a nice screen, I will tell you that. But it's, it is true that this screen is really uh, fragile and you better be careful putting this in. Um, the hardest part is just snapping it into place because you don't want to press too hard and crack the screen Yet you got to um, put it into the plastic tabs a lot of, uh, a lot of the um, instructional videos I've watched on it um, Tell you to pry, uh, like pry the ends of the uh, The casing here to put the screen in but I will tell you that really it didn't work too well for me because I, I felt like I might be cracking the screen. Um, and then there's the, uh, the, uh, the analog stick right here. Now, my complaint about the analog stick is, is that there's only two screws. And you're, uh, you're encouraged not to uh, tighten the screws too tight because you don't want to break the plastic. But if you don't tighten them enough, uh, you're going to have... The, this joystick just going in in and out a little bit so you got to get it just right I would have preferred if there would have been three screws uh, if you're trying to minimize the screws uh, one, one like two on this side and one on this side just for just to help st stabilize it but you know that that's another thing now the um, buttons and the uh, membranes for these uh, these buttons are not all that hard to put in. But the hardest part, I will tell you, is on the screen, and you can't see them because of the battery. But on the on the screen, there's a um, there's a ribbon cable that you gotta slide through the main board. Um, the screen is actually the screen ribbon cable is not too bad but there's a ribbon cable and I don't even know if you can see it but there's a ribbon cable on this thing uh, for the analog stick and my ribbon cable wasn't bent right or something I don't know but it was very hard to actually get that thing through through the slot and once I was able to get it through the slot it was really difficult to get it into the um, the little jack or whatever you want to call it. I, I, I'm not sure what you might call it, but there's a door on the jack that you must lift lift up to put the um, the uh, ribbon cable in. And you're encouraged to use tweezers for the ribbon cable, but honestly, using the tweezers didn't help me much at all. And in fact, when I uh, opened up the door, uh, the door actually came off. I was able to get the ribbon cable back in and I snapped the door back on so it, it's working so that's that's good now the um, plugs that go into the uh, 
of, of, into the uh, main board for the speaker and of course the uh, battery this they're kind of hard to put in I will tell you that they're not just just snap in and they're good you've got to get it lined up real good and it's just kind of a little pain a pain to put those in um, and the battery I had an issue with the battery putting it in because when I got when I got the uh, the unit the batteries um, end the plug that goes on into the into the uh, socket there was broke the negative wire was actually out of the plug it was like broke off so I had to squeeze it together back into form and push it into the um, socket there that's a miracle this thing actually works <laughs> well a small miracle but the analog stick works even though uh, I, uh, the door broke off of it of the um, little port there the screen's working fine the speaker's working fine one more uh, well a couple more issues that I have with the machine is that you don't have a uh, volume wheel and it's all software and the only way I've found to um, turn down the st uh, sound turn it up and down is actually going into the menu uh, let's see I'll turn it off and show you be booting it up and show you how quick it boots up and then I'll show you how uh, you uh, turn up the volume now this is on the base uh, base uh, operating system now there's beta Sera that you can use and I tried using that for a little while and it did have uh, volume controls uh, assigned to it but um, I, I could so for some reason I couldn't get the hot hot key to work but anyway uh, so to turn down the sound in this OS I gotta go in there and go into this the sound settings and actually turn it up and down that way I haven't figured out if there's any kind of button combinations to turn the, uh, the sound up and down but anyway and one more little caveat about it um, the charging you get a, um, a short uh, charging cable I think it's about three feet I haven't measured it but it's kind of short but that's okay uh, you don't usually play play the machine with it plugged in anyway but my my issue is or at least I, I felt they, they could have done this better so when you plug in the um, charging cable you don't get a signal or anything that is actually charging you know how you plug in your phone you get like a little lightning on top of your battery or whatever there's nothing like that here um, I don't know if that's the OS that's on there or not but but that's just another slight caveat other than uh, the issues that I had installing it or assembling this machine it really plays good um, every emulator I've tried to use um, it plays great uh, and you can see I've got quite a few I haven't actually gotten all the emulators or the games on there that I want um, but it plays them well and see here on Tech Mobile it'll come up where I left off when I ended so you can press the hotkey in the uh, base operating system and go back but when you go back in you're right back where you started I haven't figured out how to actually reset the game and just start over because that 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 has become a pain actually like if if I just want to start a new game I've got to run out the clock here or you know in a regular game I just die so many times and then I can start over but that that that's really a minor issue but would I recommend this to uh, to people out there watching um, I would recommend this if you're comfortable uh, putting in ribbon cables and fragile screens on boards if you're comfortable with that this is great uh, the 
the unit is about fifty-five dollars. They charge about well, they charge me about fifteen dollars for the shipping. So it, it ended up costing about seventy dollars. Um, plus you uh, need a little flash card, and you can get a wireless dongle to go into the USB, but I haven't got one yet, and uh, I'm not sure that I could configure it anyway. I, I just like it like it is right now. And uh, this is a kind of right now my go-to machine for like when I'm, you know, sitting on the couch or something, or if I'm going to be uh, at, on a lunch break, you know, at work. Uh, this is a handy little machine to have around if you want to play your retro games, and you're not necessarily in front of your CRT or whatever you play them on with the real equipment. I still prefer the real equipment though, but this is a great alternative. The button, the uh, D-pad's nice. The thumbstick's a little small, but you know it, it gets there, and the button layouts is fine. You got enough buttons down here. You get two. You get one, uh, two trigger buttons here for the left and the right. You don't get four, and you don't get two analog sticks, and that's what a lot of people are complaining about. But I don't plan on uh, playing a lot of games that require that. Mostly, I'm going to be playing f uh, with. Uh, Game, uh, Game Gear games and Game Boy Color games, maybe some Atari 2600 or 7800 or NES, you know, things like that. Anyway, I hope this uh, was a little helpful f to you if you're uh, trying to make the decision if you're going to uh, order one of these. And of course, they're on back order right now, and they plan to get some more in stock around mid March. But, uh, I'm happy with this. I'm I'm glad it worked, even though uh, I had issues uh, with the uh, the ribbon cables and the uh, power cable that plugs in. Anyway, if you've got one of these, tell me what you think. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.